hello friends your love and support bring me here back today we are going to discuss about the avita pura ryzen 5 laptop that came with 512 gb of ssd storage and 8 gb of ddr4 ram i bought this laptop near about 26th of the june so 5 month and 14 days so it's a nearly 6 month i am using this stuff from nearly 6 months what i experienced what i felt bad thing or cons in it i also described in the previous video of top 3 cons video but many viewers or buyers are commented me that bro it will suit for us it it will fulfill our requirement or not what is it for for months how we buy it and many doubts so the one common comment i will found that it is worthy to buy or not so in today's video i am discussing about that this will fulfill your requirements or not not exactly but i will give you near about 3 to 4 condition which you have to compare with your requirements that this laptop is fulfill with that requirement or I am not promoting this laptop or not telling the bad cons of this what i experience i just tell that things so now moving about the main topic or the conditions are mostly have the part divided in the your budget your user pattern your requirement and your need so i will say that the condition number 1 is like uh, if you are a working working person and your uh, working time is near about 7 to 8 hours in your office time and you are using this stuff or laptop or want you for the streaming live gaming or you want to use some uh, small application i'm not taking small application in the performance but in the time interval for a short time interval you use it near about 1 to 3 hour daily or one day or one day your requirement is not much more than that then that is for you you can go for it it's a very high performance like uh, autocad revit and rendering speed is also great i am using this for a uh, revit and this give me a very satisfied performance then this is for you and your budget is low not a low but why to spend so much money if you are using this for 2 to 3 hour or rarely so this is fit for you this is the budget friendly near about 30k now with the offers and you are using near about 2 to 3 hours one day or in a week or 3 to 4 times then this is for you you will get high performance and you have don't want to spend much more money then this is for you and now i am giving the second condition second condition is like that uh, you are using daily near about 7 uh, to 8 hour you are using only this stuff and you want a very high performance means uh, you want to you are designing you are a coder and you want one laptop with a low budget here the main thing or main point is uh, your budget you want a low cost laptop with high performance specification but and you are very careful and your device is on the your table you are not carrying from one place to another place and it will be for you then this laptop is for you means here the condition is like that uh, you are a pro user and you are using it 7 to 8 hour but the laptop you are taking very carefully you are using in only one place here not carrying from one place to other place then it will for you and your budget is very low now i will talk about the third condition is that uh, you want one laptop that for the your daily use you are a business developer you are traveling from one place to another place and you want one high performance laptop or medium performance laptop and your need is not specified and you want one laptop for your daily need 
and the laptop is traveling with you then this laptop is not for you i seriously suggest don't buy this laptop because the poor quality of this laptop it's a very lightweight near about 1 and 1.5 kg it's a very light and good in design but for making it light the only plastic full body also hinge are used cover are plastic so it's easily broken and you are traveling with you this laptop then maybe at your workplace you will found that the your laptop is broken and your work will be pending so this laptop is not for you and the second condition not a second but fourth and last condition that you want one laptop for your daily uses high performance and your need is that one laptop situation performance are taking aside but focusing on one point that is a budget your budget is not a main point you can spend 8k to 10k more than this laptop near about 40k or 45k you can spend and a specification of performance is not a point traveling is not a point forget anything i told previously just focus that the budget is not a your problem then go for other laptop spend near about 8k to 5k you will get much better than this laptop not a good but better than this laptop by spending near about 8k to 5k more than this laptop mark you by flipkart asus hp many they have the metallic hinge support metallic frame body inside they are also making plastic in 45k but they have make a design only made of the metal so budget is your not problem then go for other laptop we are now summarizing this we have four conditions one is a light user one to three hours then go for it second condition is that you are using this laptop heavily at a one place and you are carrying from it then go your budget is low and third condition is that you are using this laptop from traveling from one place to another place and you are careless not careless but you are just traveling you are very careful person but you are traveling then this is not for you and fourth condition is budget is not your problem then go for the other one two condition are for buying two condition are for not buying go for the other products now if you have also doubt then ask in the comment section i will give my best to give you reply in the previous video i tell uh, many viewers my user review and my experience and they satisfied i tried my best to give you all the solution thank you for the your support now i want to tell you in the last one thing uh, beginning of this video but i think that that will make this video very useless because the main thing of this video is a conditions for the worthy or not so i am telling in the last that many viewers are disliking videos commenting worthlessly comment they try to demoralize but i want to tell them that uh, youtube is not my primary business not a primary not a part time also you i make youtube videos only for the one person because when in 26th june i searched in google that avita pure ryzen 5 laptop user review performance i didn't find anything and i find i find in the indonesian language so i buy it blindly so when i get this product i think that the problem i faced i try to solve that no one other no one other but some user get help from this man then that will very grateful for me so i make this video and a very huge response came near about 15 to 48 comments when uh, i wake up i seen in my notification that bro what is the performance what is that blah 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 etc and that will make me 
happy to make the other video series so i make uh, many series gaming performance and many so you are disliking that's not problem you are making a uh, demoralize or vulgar comment that is not at any point in 1k view 99 percent view or 999 views are not worth for me but one viewer get the help from the my video for him that uh, he will get one point in my video that find him to buy it or not then it worth it for me this is the not promotional or youtube is not main business i just making this video for giving the community some useful content thank you thank you so much